Howdy y'all, good morning. Coming to you from Laughingville Gardens, is the ridge you guys always see from the house. Uh, getting firewood this morning. I saw this nice big piece right over here. I'm not sure. I've got an axe in my hand, it's a little difficult to move. But this little big piece back here. But, being Navajo, it's a little crazy, but it's understandable. We respect nature, which is awesome. I wish more people did that. Um, there's a rat's nest in this tree, so it's pretty much part of the same tree. And we don't mess with that. You know, that's, that's someone's house, if you want to think of it that way. So I just moved on to the next one and then I was able to find a few nice dead pine trees over here. Right here near the ridge. Pretty foresty. Not like really, really foresty, but just enough trees. But I'm starting to clear it out and, you know, just try to convert it into a um, pasture so we got a one nice one over here looks like it was a root that was upturned and another one nice one right here so these are nice very well seasoned i know a lot of people here don't really like don't really like to take this type of firewood but you know i'm clearing this you know this area slowly but surely so and you got a little clear some of the underbrush um, get a little more exposure plants will grow um, I've been kind of replanting some other types of pine and different types of trees that are native around here that are a little bit better so I cut the one over there I usually go through first with the axe my little nifty axe I have like six different types of axes a splitter this used to be a double bit it looks like but somehow someone turned it into a single bit which is really awesome I found a handle and a base hardware I think it was it is very very light and as long as it's sharp it, you know, does everything very well. Makes really light work of everything. So that's just kind of what I do. I usually come out here with my mom and look at that, Mr. Club and Rolo. So it's usually affordable. His mom just hangs out by the, by the truck. So in her younger days, you know, she'd be running around with an ax. I grew up with an ax. First, my dad was a chainsaw person. I just, you know, went ahead of him, prepped, learned how to prep, and then I still do the same process, and I still have an ax. So it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. Pretty nice workout for the fall and going into the winter. Um, so, you know, here's just some really dead ones. So, you know, these are just kind of prep the uh, the arms so you can come through here you know a little smoother with the chainsaw that's the only reason why I, you know I prep I prep all these limbs off and it makes coming through with the chainsaw a lot faster and you come through here you know cut 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 and so on you know so it makes really like uh, quick work. This kind of a flow or process that I kind of did since you know if you got like two or three people, you know, you got one person going ahead prepping. Next person comes through with a chainsaw. Next person comes through loading. It's a lot faster once you're done prepping. You just help, you know, a third person prep or you know you take turns depending on how many vehicles you have so that's pretty much it let me 
This one's kind of quick to do, so I can probably do it with one hand. This prep, you just come back through with the chainsaw. Sometimes you want to move it and get better access to it. So we come back through. You can kind of mark them, so I'm not guessing where I'm going to saw. So, that's it with that. That one was pretty simple. So now, I actually got a big one right here. You see it right there. Oh, looks like another one back there. easier to saw this one not really but it's gonna be uh it's a pretty big one this is actually really big for this area and that. that's like i don't know 20 inches wide diameter looks like that was a big pine tree you know it's pretty awesome and there's another smaller one so you know i just come to find out that if you work with nature you get a lot of firewoods there there all over even though we got a lot of rats on that end that's okay over here in the back end we got this giant pine so that's probably half a truckload or it might even fill it up so now we got one right here. We might just get the chainsaw now. Cause we got the two three over there. This one might fill it up. I like to get the uh old dead trees because they're you know they're they're dead, they're old, they're the way I see it is they're kind of just like in the way where there could be new growth and i've seen it since uh three years ago when i started doing this four years ago actually the first time i did it once you clear you know something like this off block out the the wash the little areas and grass tends to come up a lot more so with logs like this just in the way i you know i just seen that it, it looks like they're just blocking sunlight once you clear it out you know you get more sunlight to the ground whatever seed you think is in there germinates and you know you get more forage which is awesome that's what the main purpose for me doing this is so i'm going to clear this one really quick and we're going to get the chainsaw well time for the big tree
how do y'all so just got done here um where the tree once stood is nice now and got a truck full of wood say about three quarters of this is from here and you can see cleaned up pretty well just put all the branches and whatnot in one place maybe one day we'll cross up that way who knows but just kind of slow down the erosion as well now we just gotta unload this come back maybe tomorrow morning and get the two i did over here and the ones i was prepping earlier so that's all peace <laughs>